Episode 68 Exploring Gender Projections from Robert Greene's The Laws of Human Nature Have you ever felt like you keep falling for the same type of person, only to be disappointed? Or perhaps you've noticed friends who always seem to choose partners that aren't good for them? In this episode, we'll delve into a concept from Robert Greene's The Laws of Human Nature, known as Gender Projections. These are unconscious patterns that shape how we perceive and interact with potential romantic partners. By understanding these patterns, we can gain deeper insights into ourselves and improve our relationships. Let's look at six common types of gender projections. 1. The Devilish Romantic Imagine a woman who always falls for older, successful men who seem exciting and romantic. She might think, I'll be the one to make him settle down. But it never works out that way. This often happens because of how she related to her father as a child. If her dad gave her lots of attention and made her feel special, she might keep trying to find that feeling with other men. The problem is, no one can live up to this fantasy. To break free from this pattern, she needs to see it for what it is. She should think about how her relationship with her dad might have been inappropriate, even if it felt good at the time. Once she understands this, she can start looking for healthier relationships. 2. The Elusive Woman of Perfection Now think about a man who's always chasing after his idea of the perfect woman. He might not know much about her, but in his mind, she's everything he's ever wanted. When he does start a relationship, he quickly gets disappointed, because no real person can match his fantasy. This often happens to men who didn't get enough emotional support from their mothers as children. They're trying to fill an emptiness inside them. To overcome this, these men need to learn to connect with real women, flaws and all. They should also work on finding fulfillment within themselves, rather than expecting a partner to complete them. 3. The Lovable Rebel This is when a woman keeps falling for bad boys or rebels. She might be attracted to men who seem to break all the rules. Often this happens because she had a very strict father and never got to rebel herself. She's living out her fantasy of defiance through these men. The problem is, many of these rebels turn out to be quite controlling themselves. To break this cycle she needs to develop her own independence and learn to stand up for herself. 4. The Fallen Woman Here, we have a man who's attracted to women he sees as wild or in need of saving. He might think he's going to rescue her or show her a better life. This often happens with men who were raised to be very well behaved. Deep down, they're drawn to what they see as forbidden or exciting. To move past this, these men need to loosen up a bit themselves. They should try new experiences and get in touch with their own wild side, rather than looking for it in others. 5. The Superior Man This is when a woman is drawn to men she sees as brilliant or powerful. She might think being with him will make her feel smart or important too. Usually, this comes from feeling not good enough herself. Maybe she had people in her life who were always criticizing her. To overcome this, she needs to work on building her own confidence. She should remember that she's just as capable and worthy as anyone else. 6. The Woman to Worship Him Finally, we have men who are always looking for women to make them feel important and take care of them. They want to be adored. This often happens because their mothers gave them tons of attention when they were little. Now they're always trying to find someone to play that role. To break this pattern, these men need to learn to take care of themselves emotionally. They should work on feeling good about themselves without needing constant praise from others. Understanding these patterns Now, why is all this important? Because when we understand these patterns, 
we can start to change them. We can catch ourselves when we're falling into old habits and make different choices. It's also helpful to know about these projections because sometimes people might project onto us. If someone seems to think you're perfect or expects you to always take care of them, they might be caught in one of these patterns. Remember, real relationships are about seeing and accepting each other as we really are, not as we imagine or wish the other person to be. Breaking free from these patterns isn't easy. It takes time and often some soul searching. Here are some steps that can help. 1. Pay attention to your patterns. Do you always go for the same type of person? Do your relationships tend to end the same way? 2. Think about your childhood. How did you relate to your parents? How might that be affecting your relationships now? 3. Work on yourself. Build your confidence. Try new things. Learn to comfort yourself when you're upset. 4. In relationships, try to see the other person as they really are, not as you wish they were. 5. If you find yourself repeating the same patterns, don't be afraid to ask for help. Talking to a therapist or counselor can be really helpful. Remember, the goal isn't to never be attracted to anyone or to overthink every interaction. It's about understanding yourself better so you can have healthier, more fulfilling relationships. By recognizing these projections, both in ourselves and others, we open the door to more genuine connections. It might take some work, but the reward is relationships based on real understanding and acceptance, not just unconscious needs and fantasies. We're now accepting likes as donations. Your support gives us the motivation to create high-quality content just for you. If something resonated with you, we'd love to hear about it. Share your thoughts and personal experiences in the comments below. Your insights might just help someone else. Now something important. Make it a habit to learn something valuable every day. The content you consume is like food for your brain, so be intentional about what you watch. Remember, the algorithm is designed to influence your thoughts. Don't let it control you. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe.